yeah good day welcome to today's class and um i guess you've been enjoying your the previous classes and today we'll be considering how to add material stream and how to de define your material stream so we'll be continuing continuing from our last or our previous um tutorial the last tutorial we did was on how to add or select the appropriate fluid packet for your design and received it with tutorial so i'll come over here and double click on tutorial on that recent model let's give it a few seconds it's coming up okay so here we are all right so we have two major types of streams in HISIS. We have the material stream and the energy stream. So I'll be teaching you how to add the material stream. Now let's go to the object pillars. You see two arrow, one is blue and one is red. The red arrow is an energy stream, while the blue arrow is material stream. So there are three major ways of adding your material stream. It's either you come to the um, object pilot and click on material stream you click and drop drop it on the GUI or you double click on the material stream to automatically come over to the GUI then the third means of adding your material stream is by going to the workbook click on workbook now you see the two streams you've already added then you can add the third stream just click on new and type three or you type the name of the stream you want to add automatically the stream will appear on your GUI okay so these are the three major means of adding your material stream in Aspen Heises so the next stage is to define your material stream now when you add your material stream your stream will be light blue in color but after this defining your material stream it will turn to dark blue so let's start with stream one material stream one you try and define material stream one okay like i told you in our previous lecture hisis is interactive it tells you what you've not done what you need to do now if you look at where my arrow is so my pointer is you see unknown composition so Hysis is telling you that you need to add the composition of those components you added in your simulation basis environment so how do we add it we have three major means of adding composition or let's say two major means it's either you're adding it through the composition tab or you double click on molar flow so i'll use two streams to demonstrate this for this particular stream we are going to use composition to add our, um, our mole fractions, mass fraction, volumetric, um, volume fraction, mole flows, and all of that. Okay, so the first step is to click on composition. All right, so we add our mole fractions. Your mole fraction is going to be given to you, or you need to make do a literature review to get the appropriate composition of your fluid or you run an analysis in the lab okay so i'm going to be assuming the more fractions you should also know that the summation of your mole fraction must be equal to one so that should also be your aim Okay. Hope we are together. So how's zero point nine eight? And um, okay. And um, so our total move fraction is e already equal to one so all i need to do now is to click on okay okay but with what you have is weight fraction 
that's mass fraction or liquid volume fractions all you need to do is come over to this side and um, select the type of composition you want to add so for now i've added my more fraction all i need to do now is click on okay all right so i'll go back to condition now let's look at this place what is it telling us unknown temperature so you need to add your temperature the temperature of your stream 25 okay let's say 25 now what is it telling you again unknown pressure so you need to add your pressure let's say one atmosphere okay what again unknown flow rate so you add your flow rate once that is done it will automatically calculate now i want to show you something what and what did we add we added the pressure and we added temperature and the vapor phase fraction was calculated now by vapor phase fraction in aspen high seas we have only two major vapor phase fraction two major phases in aspen high seas that is the liquid phase and the vapor phase that is to say that aspen high seas does not handle solid design or design of any process that produces any solid material okay so it's either your stream is liquid gas or mist phase and in aspen high seas what once you add your temperature and your pressure it will automatically calculate the phase fraction then the situation where you know your phase fraction and you know your temperature you don't need to add the pressure with the phase fraction and the temperature high seas will calculate the pressure for you if you have the phase fraction and pressure high seas will calculate the temperature for you so that's it's one um, good thing about high seas it does most of the calculations for you now another thing you need to take note of is that your imputed datas are always in blue while the calculated datas are in black so the mass flow was calculated it's in black coloration why your temperature was imputed so that is basically how to define your um your stream your material stream so let's go back to the color can you see the difference between stream one and stream two material stream one is dark blue while material stream two is what light blue so i'm going to be showing you another means of adding your composition or defining your composition by using material stream 2 so let's use stream 2 now the, the last one i showed you was clicking on composition another means of adding your composition is by double clicking either the molar flow or the mass flow now if you want to add more fraction all you need to do is double click on molar flow if you want to add your weight fraction you need to double click on the mass flow to take you directly to where you will add your composition so for example if you want to add more fraction I'll come to molar flow and double click on the molar flow so i can easily enter my compositions let's say 0 0.7 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.0.05 0 0.04 0 .04, say 0 0.01 This is 0 0.03 and 0 0.02 so we already have a summation of one in our more fraction so you go through the same process but in this case let's say this particular gas stream exists as a vapor we know the temperature and the phase fraction but we don't know the pressure so I know that the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Automatically, high seas calculates the pressure for me. That means for this stream to exist as a gas at 10 degrees Celsius, the pressure has to be 39.91. So I can enter my mass flow as 100 kilograms per hour. So automatically, high seas will calculate the more flow for me. And that is the beauty of high seas. Now for the third stream, for the third stream um okay let me show you how to add composition again let's say you want to add your weight fraction all i need to do is double click on mass fraction 
okay you see mass fraction so i'll enter my compositions say 0 0.6 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.05 0 0.04 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 and 0 point okay it says 0 0.01 0 0.01 Alright, let's reduce water to 0 0.05. 0 0.005. 0 0.05 and um, 0 0.005. So that will give us 1. Alright, so now let's, in this case, let's assume we have the phase fraction. Phase fraction is 0. That's the liquid phase. Let's assume this gas is existing in the liquid phase. I will know the pressure to be one atmosphere. So automatically, I should calculate the temperature. That means for this gas stream to exist in a liquid phase at a pressure of 101.3 kilopascal, the temperature has to be minus 159.0. And let's assume we also know the standard ideal liquid volume. We don't know the mass flow, we don't know the molar flow, but we know the the volume or the volumetric flow rate to be 100 100 meter cube per hour so high seas will automatically calculate the mass flow and the molar flow so that is basically how to add your material stream and to define your material stream thank you very much um, in our next class we'll be handling uh bubble point and dew point calculation with um how to uh, check for the, the water content of your gas stream and also run material stream analysis thank you very much for your time i really appreciate